Scrolling down, we're going to do stuff from 4-5. It's pretty much the same, except you have to set everything equal to zero. You're going to see an equal sign in 4-5. That means we're actually not only going to factor, but we're going to get an answer because x is going to equal something. Um, so there's going to be an equal sign. First thing to notice is that this 15 needs to be on the other side so that it's equal to zero. So we're going to minus 15 and minus 15. So that gives us 2x squared plus x minus 15 equals 0. Now we're going to do a is 2, b, b is 1, and c is negative 15. When you multiply a times c, you do 2 times negative 15 and get negative 30. Focus on b and ac. I need factors of negative 30 and they need to add to a positive 1. You might think 3 and negative 10. Unfortunately that adds to negative 7. You might think 5 and negative 6. 5 and negative 6 is really close but it adds to a negative 1. So what I'm going to do is make that a negative 5 and a positive 6. That'll give me a positive 1, so I know that that one's the answer. It's time to rewrite. I'm going to rewrite right here towards the side. Keep the 2x squared. No longer do you keep this middle plus x. Change it to minus 5x and plus 6x. Then finish by writing minus 15 equals 0. then group them. What's it like in those two? What's the GCF? Just an x. Take out an x, you're left with 2x. Divide out an x, you're left with minus 5. What's common in these two? Hopefully you know a 3. Divide out a 3, you will end up with 2x. Divide out a 3, you'll end up with minus 5. You should notice now your parentheses do match. So you're going to factor this out to the very front, 2x minus 5. What will you be left with? You'll be left with that x, and you'll be left with that 3. Remember that we actually have to go a little further and solve now. You take the first binomial, 2x minus 5, and you set it equal to 0. And now you solve. Add 5, divide by 2, reduce, x is 5 halves. Do the same thing with the other binomial. Takes x plus 3, set it equal to 0, and solve. Minus 3, minus 3, x equals negative 3. There are your two answers. The next problem you would do it the exact same way. You're going to find, this one's already set equal to zero. So you say A is six, B is one, C is negative 15, and AC is six times negative 15, which is negative 90. Now you need to find your factors of negative 90. Notice I'm going a little faster since we've done it a few times already. They need to add to 1. The answer would be a positive 10 and a negative 9. That gives you a positive 1. Now it's time to rewrite. Keep the 6x squared. Do not keep the plus x, but instead write plus 10x minus 9x that came from the circle, and minus 15 equals 0. Look at the first two. You should notice that you can pull out a 2 and an x. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and that one will have 1x left over. 10 divided by 2 is a positive 5, with no x's left over. 
The second two, you're going to factor out a negative because of this sign, and it's going to be a 3. Divide by negative 3, you get 3x. Divide by negative 3, you get positive 5. Look at your two parentheses, they are now the same. Bring the 3x plus 5 out front. You are left with a 2x and a minus 3. The last thing you do is set each one equal to 0 since there is an equal sign now. And solve. So this first one, minus 5 and minus 5, 3x equals negative 5. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x is negative 5 thirds. On this one, add 3 and add 3. 2x equals 3. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Always reduce if you can. x is 3 over 2. The last one we're going to do, I'm going to put it down here because I, I kind of ran into the other problem. Okay, It was 6x squared equals 11x plus 35. I have to set it equal to 0. Please always keep the x squared positive. Minus 11x minus 35 will do that. So you're going to get 6x squared minus 11x because we're moving it, minus 35 because we're moving it, and it equals 0. A is 6, B is negative 11, C is negative 35, and AC I am using a calculator for. Two ten, so it's going to be, since one's a negative, negative 2 10. Okay, I need factors of negative 210 that need to add to negative 11. I see a 0, so I'm going to try 10 and negative 21. Because that that, whenever I see a 0, I usually try 10 first. And I think that's actually going to give us the negative 11 that we need. You might have to sit there longer, but you got the answer now. Keep the 6x squared. No longer do you keep the 11x. You're going to change it to plus 10x and minus 21x. And then keep the minus 35 equals 0. The first two have a 2 and an x you can pull out. You'll be left with 3x plus 5. The second two you need to pull out a negative. And what goes into both those numbers? 7. That will give you a 3x, and because you have a negative, take out a negative, plus 5. So we're going to rewrite our 3x plus 5 because it matches. We're going to rewrite our 2x minus 7. Here's the equal 0. And then the last step is to solve each one. Okay, I'm going to move right over here now. So I had 3x plus 5 equals 0, minus 5, minus 5, 3x equals negative 5, divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals negative 5 over 3. Second one, 2x minus 7 equals 0, add 7, add 7, 2x equals 7, Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 7 over 2.